Hello fellow Cinefusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to my channel Let's Get Reels. Today's movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is Blades of Glory from 2007 starring Will Ferrell, John Huter, Amy Poehler, Will Arnett, and Jenna Fisher. Blades of Glory is an absolutely silly movie. I'm just gonna start with this review with this forewarning or whatever have you. It is ridiculously silly. I mean, it's a Will Ferrell movie and any movie he does really is just totally ridiculously silly, any of his comedies. So Blades of Glory is no different from, you know, like uh, Old School or Talladega Nights or uh, whatever other ones of his comedy movies. It's just like totally, totally crazy. Will Ferrell plays a figure skater, a men's figure skater. Yes, he ice skates in this movie. His character's name is Chaz Michael Michaels and he's supposed to be like this sexy bad boy of the ice and he's like the lone wolf and he's like very masculine and everything even though he's in men's figure skating. He's at this competition one year and he's up against Jimmy McElroy who's played by John Heater and Jimmy is like every little girl's dream. He's like really cute, he's young, he's very feminine looking, but he's very popular. And um, their two personalities clash after they both tie for first place at this competition and they get into such a huge brawl that they are both kicked out of men's single skating. It isn't until about, I think, three and a half years after they got kicked out of ice skating in the men's singles that Jimmy's stalker, played by Nick Swartzen, who is so freaking funny in this movie, comes uh, up to Jimmy and says, oh look, you, don't, you can't compete in men's singles, but you can compete in couples. So Jimmy was like, oh, I'm gonna go do this. So he decides to kind of like poach this, uh, this um, skating show, like a kid's skating show, to find a female skater to be a pair with. But Jimmy does not wind up finding a female partner. He winds up finding Chaz Michael Michaels, who has sung very low and who is doing like a woodland creature in this show, in this kid's show, and he is drunk and disgusting. And of course, the two of them get into a huge brawl again, but somebody caught it on camera and it's aired on the news and Jimmy's old coach sees this on the news and he's like, hmm, they have some good moves there together. So he goes to Jimmy and he's like, you're gonna be paired with Chaz Michael Michaels. What? So instead of them being paired with women, they're paired with each other, becoming the first like male uh, skating duo in the um, pairs competition in skating. One skating couple that is not very excited about the Chaz Michael Michaels and Jimmy McElroy pairing is the brother-sister duo of Strons and Fairchild von Waldenberg. They are played hilariously hilariously by then real life couple Will Arnett and Amy Poehler and they do have a younger sister named Katie Von Maldenberg played by Jenna Fisher and Katie is like their like she just gets them everything she's basically their slave they make her feel really bad that their parents died taking her to skating practice when they were younger and um that katie just does whatever they want her to do so they have her go spy on jimmy and chaz's practice and over time katie really comes to like jimmy and you know they hook wind up together at the end so i'm gonna leave the summary of the movie at that because it's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. You know, of course there's like drama and it's silly drama. And Chaz and Jimmy, you know, like wind up becoming friends and they wind up doing really well in the finals and the competition, wherever they are. And uh, it's just, I love this movie so much. Like, I know that I can have some highbrow movies, you know, like I love classic movies. If you go look on my channel, you'll see I have a classic movie Thursday section and, um, you know, I like kind of deep thinking movies. Like I reviewed Videodrome not that long ago and I've reviewed like other kind of deep thinking, you know, movies, but sometimes you just gotta watch the silly ones. You gotta watch the ones that are just so 
insanely ridiculous to just unwind and laugh at something and have a good time and blades of glory has been that movie for me for i don't even know how many years probably since it's been out since 2007 it's been one of my favorite dvds i have ever owned i remember buying it i used to work at best buy years and years ago and i remember like coveting that dvd i was so excited that i had it i think i originally saw this movie because i love jenna fisher she's adorable and at the time i think the office was still on so i was like um pam beasley jenna fisher is in a movie yes i'm going to see this and also because i love and adore Amy Poehler and I, Will Arnett is just like a freaking genius with his comedy, both of them are. So I went to see it more for, you know, Amy Poehler, Will Arnett and Jenna Fisher. They wound up being great. They wound up being like my favorite parts of the movie because they're just so good with their comedy. And I do have to say, if you have seen this movie or whenever you do watch it, the acting is very like, it doesn't seem very good. It seems like, you know like they're trying too hard it seems too over dramatic but that that's what makes it funny because the acting doesn't seem like it's that good like it seems like they're acting and reading the lines you know they're not really like you know into character or whatever but that's just what makes it funny it's just so silly it makes all the scenes funnier all right so that was my review of slash ramble of blades of glory from 2007 if you liked this review slash ramble in any way please give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below if you have seen blades of glory what's your favorite scene what's your favorite line i want to know whatever you think about blades of glory leave them there and also in the comments if you guys have any suggestions of what i should watch be them old movies or new movies leave them there and if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it I will give you a shout out how awesome is that who doesn't want to shout out in a YouTube video and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as hitting that bell notification so that you know when I upload because sometimes my uploading schedule is either here nor there it's either feast or famine so click that bell notification and you will know when I upload and as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.